Hi, this is John from the Hovercam, and today I'm going to talk about how to use the buttons on the Neo 3 document camera. And right here what I'm showing is a live picture of the flyer, and there's my hand, so I'm just going to my fingers there. Uh, and what I want to first mention is on our flyer, we mentioned this uh, USB 30 frames per second 720p and this VGA 30 frames per second 720p. And this is an important point to understand about the Neo 3 is it does both USB and VGA output at the same time. Now this is kind of unique because a lot of document cameras can do USB or VGA, but the it's it's exactly that. It's or. It's either or. And with the Neo 3, we do both at the same time. So you're not switching. You know, there's no little dial that you have to turn to do USB or VGA. You're doing both at the same time. And why this is important for the controls is because we have two sets of controls now in order to accommodate this. So when you're using the computer or the USB port, you want to use the controls that are in Hovercam Flex. And that, that's what I'm showing right now is Hovercam Flex. So in Hovercam Flex, you can zoom in and zoom out using the mouse wheel. Uh, you know, you can move the page around. Uh, you change resolutions using the drop down menu off to the left here. And you could freeze frame down at the bottom by clicking on the on the freeze frame button. And I'll show you what this does. So if I put my hand in there and I click freeze frame, I could move my hand out there and, and you still think my hand's there. But when I unfreeze it, you can see I've moved my hand. Uh, so that's that's convenient for if you're going to be switching pages a lot, you might do want to freeze frame, lock onto it, uh, and then change the page and then unfreeze frame it. So as you've gone to the next page, you know, it, it's a little less uh, jolting to the audience. Uh, and if I wanted to rotate the image, I would use the rotate buttons that are in flex. So those are all nice features and things that you need in your camera. But what if you're doing VGA? So if you're using VGA, you're just hooking the camera right up to something like a projector or a television, and you don't necessarily have a computer to control it. And that's why we have these buttons on the pedestal. And I'm going to use even Hovercam Flex Annotation to point these out. So I'm talking about these buttons down here. Okay, so here are the buttons on the Neo 3. Now the left and right buttons are going to be used to change the resolution. So when you're hooked up directly to a projector or let's say to a TV or anything that would just take a direct VGA and you're not going through the computer, you would use these left and right buttons to change the resolution just like you would in Hovercam Flex if you were using USB. Up here in the corner, you have the drop down to change resolution. Now the middle button that M, that little M button, if you can see that where my finger is, that is to freeze frame, just like we saw in Hovercam Flex, this, this function. Or you can hold down the M key and it will flip the image. So by tapping it, it will freeze frame. By holding it down, it will rotate. Now the up and down keys these are to zoom in and zoom out. So if you hold these down, these, these will zoom in just like they would in Hovercam Flex or zoom out just like you would in Hovercam Flex. Now here's one interesting thing about the Neo 3 because it's doing both VGA and USB at the same time. You, you have to be able to give it directions from one place or another. So in other words, if you're telling it to do one thing on the pedestal and then you're also telling it to do a different thing through the Hovercam Flex software, you're probably going to end up confusing it. Uh, now a common problem that uh, people run into is they change the resolution on the, on the pedestal and they don't change the resolution on the camera, uh, I, I mean on the computer I should say. So let me show you what this looks like. So if I said, okay, use UXGA 1600 by 1200 inside of Hovercam Flex and then I told the the, uh, the uh, Neo 3 on the pedestal to do a different resolution. Yeah, there we go. Now it's confused. Now it doesn't know what to do because I'm telling it two different things. I've changed the resolution on the actual 
base of the camera, but I have a different resolution on the computer. So if, if you see this problem, it's just really you're, you're sending it conflicting information. The easy way to fix this is just to make the resolutions match. So I clicked it once and then twice, and it's back to the way that it should be. There's really only three resolution settings for the Neo 3, XGA, 720p, and UXGA. So really, you should only have to click it twice at most. But if you ever see that problem, the trick is to just really hit it twice. Should it should only be twice, or whatever it takes to get back to, to this original position. Uh, now, if you, if you have any other problems with the Neo 3, let us know. Uh, we have uh, on-staff tech support that, that's more than happy to help you out. We have these tutorial videos. We have the manual. Uh, tech support is best reached by going to the website, www.thehovercam.com.